Live from ISC West, we are in the Johnson Control booth. I'm excited to be here. Gordon, how are you doing? Doing fantastic. We're at ISC West. Why wouldn't I be smiling? Yeah, you're right. Having this occasion right now to see your solution is a great pleasure. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> We're going to look at some PowerG automation? Of course. Yeah. Go on. So PowerG is one of my favorite things to talk about. I'm sure you've seen me talk about this quite a bit. <laughs> uh, you know, our, one of our flagship products of, uh, of 2024 is our IQ Lock. This IQ Lock is phenomenal uh, because it works on our PowerG technology. Fully encrypted wireless uh, communication, uh, long range, so up to 6,000 feet. Uh, so you take this lock and you can mount it in uh, any application. We don't need to worry about distance, and that's always been a factor. Yeah. At, at Johnson Controls, we listened to our customers, and they told us that they have problems with locks. So we solved that with the IQ lock. Simple functionality, easy to change uh, uh, battery battery cord that, uh, that's, that, that they've got stuck here for me. Let me see if I can do it. <laughs> and maybe this one here. Let's try that. There we go. That's how easy it is oh, to change wow. the battery. Yeah, it is, huh? Yeah, you don't have to do anything special with it at all. Very quiet lock. Lots of codes. You got your key in there as well. So multi-functions, right? You can open with the code, you can open with the key, and easy to install. So, yeah. Well, you can mount this up to 6,000 feet away, learn it into the panel without having to worry about distance. That's the number one issue that we've heard from the dealers, and that's what we resolved, is that problem. That's great. What else do we have on the, on the wall right here? We have some automation devices. So we have a plug-in that will just basically plug into a regular everyday outlet for PowerG. We have a outdoor, so we can put this, uh, uh, you know, far away. We could turn on lights outside for accent lighting. Uh, maybe you're in the holiday lighting, you want to do some of that. Uh, this, this has two separate outputs and it's controlled by PowerG. So with PowerG, you can go far away as we know and it's encrypted, so we don't need to worry about distance. And all this through your application is, is my guess, right? So you have an application where you can control all your lights with this, uh, these panels. Absolutely, this works with our IQ4 product. So our IQ4 and our IQ Pro product. PowerG Automation basically works with us through our alarm.com platform and uh, you can do f full functionality with scenes and rules uh, to be able to turn things on and off. Nice, and what about this one? Plugs, light switches, different styles. Uh, this is just a start for Johnson Controls. We're gonna expand this line. We, we want PowerG to be in everything. And this is just uh, just our little glimpse into the future here. I love that, I love that. Having a small teaser to start and yeah, just... Yeah. IQ Pro, I have to be honest, I've seen you in the videos, you're great. I love this solution, I love your products, Excellent. but I need to learn more about them. So let, let's talk about IQ Pro. Well, IQ Pro to me is our flagship commercial product. What it is, is it's a, it's a full commercial panel with all of our built-in antennas. We have PowerG, we have our cellular, we have uh, everything built in here. It's a full ULC product, uh, UL, ULC. We can go up to 128 zones. Uh, we have eight partitions. Um, with a, You can expand it on hardwired or wireless. So you can do 128 wireless PowerG, and you can also do 128 wired. So a mixture of those two. We have uh, devices that are wireless that can connect through it, and we have wired devices as well. So this product right up here is a addressable input module. So we can wire a loop of addressable devices up to 124 addressable devices can be wired into the panel as well. We have three different keypad options, this traditional rubber button uh, keypad. We have a full touchscreen, full functioning, all the uh, functionalities of, uh, of alarm.com are on this screen as well. You can lock and unlock locks. You can uh, arm and disarm the system. You can adjust lighting. Uh, you can do uh, just about everything that you'd expect. We have our IQ Prox keypad. It's a brand new keypad that we just launched at the show. It's an inexpensive capacitive touch keypad that runs on PowerG. So you were mentioning that you work with, through the feedback of your users, so consumers of your product. So I guess this was one of the requests you received to introduce. Absolutely, our, our customers, so what we do well at Johnson Controls is we listen and we try to solve problems. 
And one of those problems where we're looking for that inexpensive keypad that's not used very often, that maybe is at a back door of a home or a business, um, that just needs to be there for obviously the functionality. That's why we released this inexpensive keypad that can function with our panels. And still looks really good. So. It still looks really good. Kind of, <laughs> and the nice thing is you can put 16 uh, secondary keypads on the, on the oh, actual wow. panel. So we have PGM outputs, uh, MX addressable loops, and of course our partners at Alarm.com, uh, fully functionality, functional through our IQ Pro. And that's why I wanted to speak with you. We're receiving your product soon. It's going to go in our lab. We're going to test, it out, test them out. So I'm learning right now, and it's great. Well, that's great. <laughs> well, I'm excited for you to try it as well. <laughs> Thank so you. The team is amazing that can help as well. Yeah, no, yeah. It, honestly, IQ Pro looks nice, feels nice, and all the functionalities you have with it is pretty great. I think you had one more thing you would like to show us. Absolutely. I'm going to show you our IQ4 product. I'm going to show you in two spots. I'm going to show you the actual front of it, and then I'm going to show you the back and the inside of it. I, I'm pretty sure our installers on the channel will love that. Oh, that's great. So let's go around this side here, see if we can find an IQ4. So here we go. Here's our IQ4 product. Is this okay for time-wise? Yeah, for, yeah, for yeah. Don't worry about it. We're doing this live. You can imagine how many people are around us right now, but why not, right? We're gonna try to talk louder so Look, you guys understand. Are we talking that. loud enough? I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, we what we have is our IQ4 product. This is our flagship panel. It has a camera built into it. It has uh, four speakers in the bottom of the panel. We have dual uh, SRF communication, so we can always do our Power G wireless. We can add a secondary card to that as well. And I'll talk about that a little deeper when we get over to the next side because it's a modular approach that you can add uh, specific frequencies to the panel so that you can do takeover devices on a, on, a, on a site. This product has 128 zones, has four partitions. You can add secondary keypads, the exact same keypads we talked about with the IQ Pro, the IQ keypad and the touch screens. Mm -hmm. We also have the traditional rubber button keypad that you can add to it as well. Okay. 128 zones, four partitions, add secondary keypads to this. Let's go take a look at how to make it hardwired as well. Let's go. All right, so little change of plans. There were too many people, but yeah. we are back. Yeah, here we are. <laughs> Booth's a little busy, so we're gonna go to different different sections here. So Sounds good. I talked about earlier about our IQ4 being our flagship product. Well, why is it our flagship product? Well, we can add modular expansion cards to our panel. So this is the back of our panel right here. There's different slots that we have available. So this unit always communicates our wireless communication over Power G. But there's a lot of legacy sensors in the market. So there's a 319 megahertz, 433 wireless devices, 345 wireless devices. If you're going to go into a new application, you probably use Power G on everything. But if there's a lot of existing devices on site, say that there's a lot of 345 uh, devices on site. Mm -hmm. We can take this card, put it in the panel, and then we can add those devices. So you're still working with a total of 128 zones, but you have the ability to mix them. Power G for all the new sensors or something that you're doing long range, and the 345, 319, or 433 megahertz devices because they're already existing on site. That, that's a solution I love because now, Sometimes you have to rip up all the cables and start a new work, but like this, it just integrates with everything. So it just makes the job easier for the installers. Well, we also look a little bit differently at that too. Our distributors and our installers have constraints in space. So you can have all the frequencies on your vehicle very, very easily. A couple little boxes with the frequency cards and a few different panels. So you can head out for work in the day. Uh, and they go to do your install, and no matter what you bump into, you'll have the solution in your back pocket. Yeah, I, I can see how it can be really practical. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> We've added a few other cards too, our Zigbee card. Our Z-Wave is built in, but Zigbee's built an option. Some, uh, some uh, manufacturers use Zigbee devices, and if some, uh, some of our dealers wanted to plug in Ethernet rather than do Wi-Fi, we do simultaneous communication of our signals. So it goes through cellular and Wi-Fi, every single time, simultaneously, through the alarm.com platform, uh, everything's like that. You also might want to plug it in as well, so that's one of the options. Like a third way to communicate and be Third connected. way to communicate. Yeah. Why not? Security, yeah. security is always about being reliable and have as many options as possible, so. Yeah, absolutely. I understand why it can be popular. 
We're going to talk right now about the adding hardwired to an IQ4 product. So our IQ4 product can add a hardwired zones into it. This is in the field a lot. A lot of legacy devices are all hardwired. They also have wireless as well. This product here has eight zones on the board. You can expand it up to 40. So 40 hardwired zones. You can also add two hardwired keypads to this device. And it has a bell output, PGM outputs. It's fire rated, so you can do life safety devices and meet code. So UL and ULC code. So a lot of these takeover devices for hardwire, you cannot add fire devices. Mm, okay. Or life safety like propane, carbon monoxide that are hired and wired in. Uh, this product here will communicate all that information through PowerG back to the panel. So all 40 hardwired zones, the keypads, as well as uh, your PGM outputs, all those other functionalities communicate through PowerG. So think about this way. You have a, an outbuilding, 1,000, 6,000 feet away, 4,000 feet away from your property. You're worried about whether you're going to get that signal there. No problem at all because PowerG will bring that signal back. My personal installation experience, I have a detached garage for my home. I installed this product in my home. I, I uh, added a siren and a hardwired keypad to it and my hardwired motion and my two garage door contacts wired into it. Wow, okay. Put it on a separate partition because there's four partitions on an IQ4. Transmitted that signal back to the panel. Fully wireless, I don't need to run any cabling, I don't need to trench, I don't need to do anything. It just, and it works flawlessly. Who doesn't love a simple installation, right? Yeah. If you don't need to punch holes in the wall and put your cables in there, so <laughs> yeah, I love that. I love that, and I love also your you're using it at your own home. Absolutely. So I mean, it kind of showcases the power and that it's working well, and that's a good product if you're willing to just, you know what, I'm gonna install it myself at my home and use it in the uh, everyday situation. I learned a long time ago. I've been at this uh, almost uh, almost 30 years, which is uh, why my hair is gray. <laughs> but uh, I learned a long time ago, if I don't, I have to hook it up, I have to play with it, I have to understand it fully before I can actually show it to a customer and feel confident that it works. So every device that we get that's new, I play with it, our entire team does. There's an alpha, there's a beta test. Uh, uh, you know, we, we put it through all the tests before, before we release it to market. That's good to hear. And I'm sure everyone that's listening right now kind of love hearing this, that is just, it's not just product that you push on the market, but it's product that are testing, uh, tested, and that, I mean, they work and they work well. Well, we like to pro solve problems as well. So when, the, when we do a, uh, like a round table with a bunch of dealers and ask them what, what's the next problem we need to solve, they come up with these ideas for us. That's why we created this. That's why we created a lot of the modularity functionality. That's why we're a great partner. <laughs> Thank you, Gordon. Again, I feel like it was a private training I just received today, and we'll be able to do the best videos about pulses on the cha on our channel. But for now, the floor is yours. Great shot, IST West. Lots of people in your booth. Any shout outs you would like to give? Where can we meet you? And what do we need to learn from this presentation? Well, what you need to learn is that we listen. If you give us ideas, give us feedback, we create products that solve problems. So we're not just pushing a product that we think you're going to need, we're making a product that we know you're going to need. And that's why PowerG Automation is one of the things that we released. We solved the problem with distance. We solved the problem with having to install uh, the product really close to the panel before you actually install it. We solved the problem with adding repeaters. You don't need to add repeaters anymore. We talked about a few other products out there. If you need something else, please give us feedback. I know that will make you smile after that. So how can people reach you if they have any question for your products? Oh, we're, we're all online. So we have all the social media communication, LinkedIn, uh, you know, Facebook chat groups and stuff like that. Uh, you know, if you want to reach out to me personally, go on my LinkedIn. I'd be happy to answer a question or make sure the right person in the right area communicates back to you. And I, I, I want to be the witness that not only will communicate with you, but he posts great videos. So it's a good contact, contact to have. Yeah, please. That'd be great. You can put my link in, in, the, in your video if you want as well. Sounds good. All right. Thank you, Gordon. Thank you. Have a great show. You too. <laughs>